Hello, Ram Nation. It's Mr. Shellard here. Just going to walk you through what our PTA was covering this month. So um, this will be something that I try to do every month for parents who aren't able to make it, but we'd love for you to be able to join us for our Community Connections and PTA meeting. It's uh, the second Monday of every month. Aaron Flint is our PTA president and doing a wonderful job with that. And so that information will come out in the newsletter as well. So um, really quickly, uh, this year, the Jeffco Mission Vision are in front of you on this one. The important part about this is as we do our work as a school, we will also align to what the Jeffco Mission and Vision are. As you can see, uh, this started last year, but we are staying with the same four priorities, with the focus being around our learners, our future and the major initiatives really being around student outcomes. So as we're thinking through our unified improvement plan and our structures for the year, this was some of the driving force with that. So the, the reason why the district is really uh, moving towards unifying our approach to these different things is that we can have common resources, common language around them, or we can expect common practices and common expectations, and then we can monitor common data to make sure everything is working correctly. Uh, so I did want to give a big plug. Uh, we will be uh, Green Mountain High School is hosting the very first ever Summit Jeffco, where our superintendent and other district leaders will be uh, partnering with uh, different people in the district to present uh, a lot of different information for parents and families. So the event for that time, uh, the event date is Saturday, September 23rd, and it's going to be from 9 a.m. to 1.30. We've been sending out information on that, but here it is again. If you're able to, I'd love to see as many parents uh, signed up for that and coming. I'll be there with a group of students helping out. Just a refresher, so our mission and vision are below. The, what I really want to draw your eyes to are that uh, at Green Mountain High School, all students are going to experience academic, uh, rigorous academics, excuse me. Um, we know that we're an academy pathway school, which means valuable experiences leading to multiple post-secondary opportunities, and that we are a strong community, rank go Ram Nation, of positive interactions, caring culture, and strong relationships among all stakeholders. This year, one of our big focus is to create a, a, a culture of safety and belonging. So you are gonna hear throughout the year, name, strength, and need. Our teachers are working that in their classes. We're working on that um, with all of our students in our school. And so as we develop this culture and continue to build those bonds, uh, that's just kind of the, how we're calling it this year. So yeah, most of you already know, but um, very proud of the work we've done around the RAM standards. RAM standard awards are given to students once a month, and we really try to tie those to uh, the same type of concept that your elementary students would be seeing with PBIS, but we've made them more high school friendly. So our RAM standards are be resilient, improve yourself, bring positive energy, control what you can control, embrace the process, show class and love your family. So as you are seeing recognitions and certificates come home, you'll also see your students' pictures on Instagram because um, we're proud of all the work that they're doing to make sure that they are, are showing what it is to be a real RAM. Also on the right side of this slide, um, I've just included some resources. So our webpage, um, although we are going through kind of a construction phase on it, you know that we really uh, try hard to make sure that that's up to date. So you will see uh, all of our master dates uh, and the link to all of the athletic events. We'll have scrolling information that is up to date on what's going on in our community, our school community. Um, you can see the bell schedule with the adjusted times and then uh, the Jeffco graduation requirements, the 23 credits plus the knowledge demonstration through SAT or another way, and that equals Red Rocks. Um, we are super excited about this being our 50th year celebration for Green Mountain High School. So um, we are very fortunate to have a foundation that uh, is sole purpose is to support our teachers and students at Green Mountain High School. Um, Brandy Kosky heads that up and uh, she's doing an amazing job with it. This year, some of the highlights that we're going to do um, will kind of land on that homecoming week. And to kick off the homecoming week, we'll be doing our UnGala, which is just an event to come together. Uh, we'll have a silent auction, all kinds of fun games uh, with adult uh, prizes. And it's, it's all about adults. It's uh, 
the information is on that right flyer. And then on the left is our fundraiser for bricks that will go out front around the flagpole. And you can have those engraved and they'll be there uh, for, for years to come. Some pictures and some moments of pride this year. So um, we are off to a bang with all kinds of great events, including athletics and music and uh, performing arts events. So those are just some picture highlights of it. Uh, marching band festival, a volleyball game and a wet football game. And our teachers, our staff are working hard. So uh, thank you for all the parents who are really working with me to make sure that parking lot is safe and uh, the campus supervisors are out there every day as well as uh, admin and different support staff. So remember that you're gonna pull all the way up using that right-hand lane if you're uh, a parent. The left-hand lane is for my students to make sure that they can access the parking lot and use parking spots. And then uh, our staff is working hard and having fun and that's a picture of them in the middle at one of our big uh, staff meetings. And then a big congratulations to Mr. Alex Atkinson as he's one of the finalists for the the uh, Harbor Freight Tools for Schools Award. Uh, the award will either be $50,000 or $100,000. 30% um, goes to the teacher and 70% to the school. Congratulations, Mr. Atkinson. Major events uh, with the link on it. So you can see we have a bunch of things coming up just the, this month. So make sure that you're checking those out. I wanna draw uh, specific attention to uh, parent-teacher conferences on the 21st. We're sending out a full sign-up sheet on that um, uh, on Friday or Monday of this week. And then also um, we have information coming up specifically for seniors on Monday the 18th and Tuesday the 19th. Just a lot of things going on, so please make sure that you're checking in all of that. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Craig or myself, and we can help make sure that you know where everything's at. Clubs and activities. Um, one of the most crucial parts of your student being successful at Green Mountain High School is that they're involved. We have everything and anything you can imagine for clubs and activities at Green Mountain High School. Super proud of it. We have everything from Skills USA that's aligned with the construction classes, uh, gardening club that's outside. We have a full array of performing arts groups and clubs, as well as uh, we have HOSA, which is about the health sciences, uh, sources of strength. It's all about supporting students uh, through mental health needs. Um, so if we don't have a club, all they have to do is come down and see Mr. Craig, and we can try to get that ball rolling for what their desire is for that club. Athletics, you know, we've had a great uh, fall season so far. We're about halfway through the season. You can see all the great offerings we have for students with um, all of our seasons in sports. Um, Ms. Serino um, has all the information. If you ever need more information on a specific sport, please contact her and she can get you hooked up with all those resources. And just some big celebrations that are happening. Um, you can see that uh, we're really proud of all of our uh, all of our awards and accolades that happened at the end of last year. So this is uh, just kind of a quick snapshot of those. Um, you can see that it's coaches and players all the way around, as well as some team, some team awards. One of our real big uh, celebrations this fall is that our numbers came in um, and we are leading the district with our overall involvement. On the left side, you see that uh, the percent increase for our athletics uh, and it's determined by girls sports and boys sports. Just to bring your attention to it, 54% uh, increase in overall girls uh, athletics events, which is just amazing to see and we're leading the district with that. And I'm trying to keep it short, but if you ever have any questions, please feel free to email me um, or contact me via phone. Um, really would appreciate any support uh, at these meetings or any other ways that you feel comfortable doing that. And again, go Rams. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.